Hi everyone, this is Delta Scrapper with Scrapping with the Delta Diva. Um, I have a video tutorial today for you about how I made this flower on my She's a Lady card. Um, I really think this flower is very pretty. I hope you can see it kind of out of focus a little bit. But um, I learned this technique from one of my table mates, Miro, at the Cricket Stampede that was um, happened back in March. So I wanted to show you guys and share with you guys how I made this flower. Um, as you can see, it's kind of got some dimension and some texture, some layers to it. So um, we'll get let's get started. First, let me show you the flower that we actually made, or that Miro showed us how to make at our table. So this is the flower. This flower is cut using the Mother's Day bouquet um, cartridge, and I really, really like this flower. Um, but I don't have this cartridge, so I ended up having to use another flower. But I'm now I'm gonna think I'm really gonna consider getting it. But anyway, um, one thing that I think worked best with this flower is you want to use a flower with um, five petals. It really adds to the dimension up under the flower and so it's not so symmetrical and even looking that it really looks kind of like a flower does in nature kind of loose and you know everything has its place and its purpose but it's not even and symmetrical. Um, you can see here that the paper is two-sided and and the flower that we made at the stampede but the flower the <clears throat> excuse me the flower that I made for my card is not two-sided and I'll tell you why in a little bit in order to make this flower you're gonna need a couple of things you're going to need five flowers of the same size and shape um, this flower happens to be cut from the circle exclusive cartridge uh, French Manor. It's actually the base for one of the um, tags, which is a flower shaped tag. So I just used the base and cut it uh, five times. The next thing you're going to need is some um, pop dots. And these pop dots um, on this particular card are different sizes. You'll probably need the bigger ones and uh, not the little ones. You're also going to need a stapler of some sort. I used a tiny attacher, which I just recently purchased, and I am in love with it. I've used it a couple times at a couple different things. Um, I took a Tim Holtz class back in September, and I used it there for the first time, and I really, really like it. But I um, just purchased one with a coupon, so you're going to need that. And then if you don't have your paper already if you're not using a pattern paper or a solid paper that you really love I used um, you may need some sort of spray glimmer mist or um, the Tim Holtz what is it the perfect pearls mist or the Maya mist I use the Maya mist this is the first um, my first Maya mist that I purchased this one is antique silver and I was unaware that it was going to cover the paper like it does and here's what I mean this paper you know you can't probably tell but it's silver it's silver now because of the Maya mist it was white when I, when I started out when I first made the cuts I thought it the Maya mist was just gonna give it a little bit of shimmer but it ended up totally like painting the paper almost I guess is the best way to say it and so it gives a lot more coverage a lot deeper coverage than um, glimmer mist and um, the perfect pearls do unless you spray a whole lot this was like one or two sprays and the whole paper was just totally changed so if you're not looking for that type of coverage then you might not want to use the Maya mist you want to might want to use a different um, a different spray so that's pretty much all you need. Oh, you need, you will also need, sorry about that, some sort of button, bling, um, big brad, or something to go in the middle. It all really depends on how big your flower is, how big your center needs to be. Um, and once you put it on there, you'll look at it and be able to tell if you really need to put put a big one or a smaller one, and if you need to put something else around the around. Um, your centerpiece your uh, bling or your brad I chose to add something here because when I just had the this piece of uh, this big piece of bling on here it just wasn't enough for me it needed a little something else on there so I added these 
um, which are on a strip. That's another tip. Don't try to place each one. If you can get some um, bling or pearls or silver beads or whatever on a strip, that will help you tremendously. Okay, so let's get started. So one flower is going to be the top of your complete completed flower. So you're going to take that flower, whichever one, <coughs> excuse me, you want to choose, and you're just going to fold it in half and just kind of distress it a little and wrinkle it up. But you want to you want to fold it where you have all your creases and your detail and stuff comes from the middle. That will just help the petals lift up a little bit when you start to assemble everything. So I folded that, pressed it a little bit. Now I'm going to unfold it. See how I got some creases and a, but everything radiates from the middle. That's what you want. So I'm going to set that aside. Now the next pieces, these are going to be the flowers or the petals, if you will, underneath your top flower. So these you want to all fold in the same uh, in the same kind of way. You want to fold them where you have one, since it's a five petal um, flower, you want to have one petal at the top and then your other two, other four, two on each side. So you're going to fold it in half. So that you have a symmetrical piece like that. So that's half of the flower. If you don't, if you happen to use um, paper that is not two-sided, if you don't want the underside to show, then you need to fold it where the part that you want to show will be on the outside. So I'm going to take this and fold it like that. And then now we're going to fold it in half again. So basically you're folding it in fourths. Now this time, because this ha the half of the flower is not symmetrical, your edges are not going to line up here. And that's what you want. That's what we're looking for. We want it to not line up, basically. So you, what you're going to do from here is you're going to just kind of press it in a little bit so that your edges, your, your petals, will kind of have a little bit of distress and distress to them. You're going to separate them a little bit and kind of bend them a little bit so that they can give your flower some lift. Okay? And you're going to do the same thing to all of your remaining flowers. So that's one. And we have three more left to do. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have distressed all four of my pieces, kind of giving them a little bit of texture and lift. Um, or for the flowers that I had left. So now it's time to assemble them. So if you look, it's kind of, they are shaped like a fourth of the flower or a fourth of a circle. So what we're going to do is going to take one here and one here. And we're going to put them together. And we're going to use a staple. Now before I do that, let me show you this. It's important that you don't put the end that has the opening. See how that has the, the opening and this side does not. You don't want to put two ends with openings together like this. The reason why you don't want to do that is because that kind of takes a little bit of the lift away from the under layer. You kind of want to put one end that's closed and one end that's open next to each other. Okay, so we're going to put that together and I'm going to come in with my tiny attacher and staple it. See that? It's kind of hard to see, but now it's stapled together. Okay, so now I have a half of a flower or a half of a circle. I'm going to do the same thing with the other two. Again, the unopened side with an open side, sorry about that, with an open side, we're going to staple those two together. Okay, so that's done. So now I have two halves. I'm going to put them together. 
when you <coughs> excuse me battling a little cough here um when you have when you do it like i said with the one side open one side not then you automatically have one side open i mean sorry one side closed one side open it'll match together so now we're going to staple the four together and your tiny attacher is deep enough that it can get all the way in there Oop. I want to get that a little close. If you don't get it all the way close, close, that's all right. Oop, I missed my spot all together. There we go. So now I have all four of my pieces together. Now I'm going to go back because, you know, in handling them and, and everything with the tiny attacher, it kind of flattened out a little bit. Just want to bunch it out. Straighten it out, spread it out a little bit more, just to give me a little bit more depth. Okay. Okay, so now that all of our um, pieces are stapled together, we're going to come in now with our pop dot, and you're just going to put your pop dot in the center of your flower. It's going to kind of cover up your staples, which is, you know, not a bad thing. Um, so you're going to take the top of your pop dot off and this is where you come back in with your first flower that's still um, in one piece and it kind of, you know, fold, you folded it from the center and you're going to place it on top of your pop dot and just press it down a little bit. Press it down. There you go. So now you have pretty much your flower made which has got to complete the middle so now that my flower is completed I'm just going to have a, a big bling a, bra a black one I'm sorry and I'm just oop, pop that in the middle press it down and now my flower is complete you might like I said this kinda looks a little like it needs something else so I might go around the middle with some um, of that tiny bling again or find some beads or something to go around the middle but for the most part your flower is complete now when you um, I attached this flower to my card with some of the scotch quick dry adhesive right here um, just squirt some on the back and then attached it to my card um, and that just gave me the security of knowing that it was gonna hold and gonna sit there and once you attach it then you might want to after the glue has dried you might want to come back and just fluff it a little bit or it might have just enough dimension for you where you're satisfied with it so um, there's the flower that I made for the, the three-dimensional flower for the she's a lady car and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thanks again this is Robin the, the scrapping Delta diva and I'll see you next time smooches I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. So until next time, I'll see you later. This is Robin, the Delta Scrapper with Scrapping Delta Diva. Talk to you later. Smooches.